Uh, before I invite the next speaker, there are two announcements. Uh, at the end of this uh, session at 6.30, we have not to, be, not to remain here. We, have to, uh, we are gathering there in the main auditorium for the next HSRC function, number one. And uh, I'm also, the persons are here to say that the books from ICPR and uh, other bodies are outside. So if they have some interest, they can have a look at it and buy. Now I request uh, Dr. Desh Bahadur Limbu, who is from Nepal, a Theorism Study Center, Dharan, Nepal, to speak on towards the philosophy of theorism. Honorable Chairperson, respected professors and uh, students from different universities and some guests from different countries. I am Desh Subba and I, I was born in Nepal, but I came here from Hong Kong. Hong Kong is not mentioned, so I I think it is better to mention here. My the speaking is quite different because I am a profounder myself of this philosophy. I request all the scholars, students, ask as much as question because I have to be perfect in this philosophy to take to the world tomorrow. And this is a new philosophy. So if some of the professors, students, work on it, either in critics or writing or doing some kind of thesis, I hope they will be well recognized in the world tomorrow. Pierre world was not coined by me. It was coined by the ancient time who developed language the first time. When I read a book of Marxism, there is one sentence. Two persons were going somewhere. One person has to inform another person about the danger. They did not have language during that time. And the second person informed with some kind of gesture, some kind of a symbol. It is written in the Marxism book. I think after this one, reading this, based up some language, some words is on the fear, according to this sentence. Philosophy of theorism says life is conducted, directed, and controlled by fear. I hope some of you agree with me and some of you disagree with me. After I started to see life and the world from the fairest perspectives, I see there are so many inventions, so many philosophies, so many construction, whatever we say, based on fear, but the philosophers, authors, and the people used to take fear as a negative, harmful human factor, and always ignore it. From the yesterday, I am listening all the lectures here. Directly or indirectly, fear is coming. Either the name of the medicines inventions, either the name of the identification crisis, or either the name of the environmental pollutions, or some kind of viruses. These are the another side of fear. We are working to reduce, we are trying to get, uh, get up from the, that, the fear. This is totally ignored from the beginning time. Periodist The most of the speakers say that their uh, uh, paper is too long. My paper is not too long, but I'm uh, speaking on the base of this book. 
I am not taking too much time because I have a slide here, but some kind of introduction, only I'm speaking here. Later on, I started to uh, this slide. This is the main book of Philosophy of Herism. It is published in 2014. This is the second book after my book published. One of the Canadian author, Dr. R. Michael Fisher, has put some comment in Amazon, and I tried to contact him, and we have a conversation in the email. Last year, only we met in Texas, uh, only one time. Otherwise, we always communicate in email. As a result, this is the second book. This is the reference book all over the world. Who has work in the fear? What kind of their contribution? And what is our contribution regarding this phil uh, philosophy? This is a book. Particularly why I'm showing this book, because so many uh, professors, students, once uh, we had a program uh, in Nepal, Kathmandu, in the program, the professors asked me the question, you have given the theory, how can it implement it in the literature? As a result, I have exper experienced myself, this is a novel based on, I said here, philosophy of theorism. How to write, this is the one kind of guidelines to the literature. I think most of the uh, informal or formal speaking I finished, I just want to go through here. I want to escape this kind of all the information, sorry. Yeah, here is a starting. Introduction of fearism as a definition. Fear can be put anywhere that can be the definition. I have given in my book, there is a 20, but here is only, I have given the five. Fear is a beautiful consciousness. People used to ask the question regarding this definition as well. Fear is a conductor, director, and control of life. Fear is a driving force of civilization. Fear is an invention. Fear is a powerful weapon. There are so many other definitions. Fear as I divided the as into fear, beginning time to the right now. Or optimum point of civilization is always extreme fear as after 100 years, after 20, 100 years, that is going to be the optimum fear, and we always try to be fearless or try to manage our fear ourselves. I give you the formula of this one later on. This is a small formula, and uh, we heard here so many people, so many speakers spoke about the consciousness, knowledge, like that. According to the philosophy of theorism, life, Consciousness, knowledge, knowledge versus meaning, and fear and cognition. This is a formula. And when we are talking about the life, I think it is coming already holistic because life is not individual. It is the whole the people, whole people of the earth. This is the construction of human mind. There are four parts in the human mind. We have heard uh, many times of the mind and the consciousness and the knowledge as well. Among the four parts of the human mind, there is one part that is called amygdala. This is the first developed human mind. And it is always looking the fear. It means fear is the first consciousness we can say through the, this development of human mind. After the fear only other kind of consciousness, other kind of knowledge or activities we can do, but this is the main base for that. I have explained in shortly the types of fear. These types of fear is summarized the whole ness, what kind of fear we have all over the world, all our life. I try to summarize 
it in the only the six, seven points. But this is not the finalized. Anybody, we can make it, we can just change it. It is always changeable. Like a fear of desire life. Desire of life means we can say Hindi or Nepali, Jiji Shubisa. We try to live ourselves more, better life, and it creates automatically some kind of fear. Fear of departure from this world. Particularly, this one is come to the religious people. Religious people always think the reincarnation and uh, going to the hell or heaven. They, everybody wants to go to heaven. Uh, because of that, they try to do the best work, best karma in this life. And it creates some kind of fear. Fear of different of words. This is also the hell and heaven. Fear of relation. The fear of relation is come under the so many kinds of relation like a property, like a families, like a what we ever have. I think the, uh, it is also the source, better source of uh, Buddhism because Buddhism also said we have uh, something, then we have a uh, dukkha, that the sorrow is coming there. Uh, some of the words I have taken from the Buddhism. Artificial fear, it is artificial fear is some kind of the myth, some kind of the superstition, some kind of uh, beliefs. Uh, also create fear to the human life. Comparative and incredible fear. There are some kind of other thinking. When we are thinking more and more something, and it gives the fear. And escaping fear. There are so many kinds of escaping fear. Try to escape or try to uh, reduce the fear. This is a fear circle. Everywhere there is a fear circle. I just give the one example here. Judiciary, legislature, and executive. Particularly, this is concerned with the government. If government, good government, or good country has not the good relation, fear relation with the, this judiciary, legislative, and executive, that country cannot be run very better way. The, some of the country, like the South Asian, uh, the countries particularly, I think that there is no good relation. One cannot listen to another, or I mean the one cannot fear the another part. And when they are not fearing, there is a break of the law and regulation. This can be fit in the family as well. One of the great philosophers of the, uh, France, Michel Foucault, has written the power and the explain or something like this. And he said that family is run by the power. And I just say, no, family is run by the fear. Power has no utilization if it cannot create the fear. Only power has to create more fear that it has some kind of existence, some kind of importance. Like a suppose like a United States developed the atomic bomb, uh, mass destruction bombs, but it cannot f create fear to any country of the world, then it is not used. Even the rule and regulation, like a so many kind of the rapping case happened in the India last uh, four years ago in the Delhi also. When the Delhi case was happened, every citizen of the India tried to demonstrate and ask the government to bring the death penalty for the dead rappers. Suppose the government bring the death penalty and that death penalty cannot create fear to the dead rappers. Again, that is useless. Fear has a two part. One part is for good, one part is for bad. And ultimately, its main objective is to create peace, prosperity, happy in the society. Like, a, suppose the government passed the bill of death penalty to the, those persons who are like a terrorist, who are like some kind of violence makers. This rule or this law is for the only certain persons to create more fear. They don't disturb the society. For this purpose, government passed that bill. And another side, majority of the people is taking advantage for that law. If that law is not passed, then the, all the people of the country can suffering from some kind of problems. These are, I said that, individual fear associated for exile. Utilization, effect, and measurement of fear. Very good example, I think this morning, when the professor, or a, I was giving the example of the, of the car. Car, this is a very good example. Suppose 
somebody is driving a car and he has no fear, fearless or less fear about the accident, about the, some kind of traffic rules, definitely he has an accident. Accident, as a result, he will be some, something can be happen. And somebody, some kind of people, they have a more fear. Even the small the case happen or small the some problem is coming to his life, they try to try to frighten themselves. And the, what should I have to do? And asking and asking. This kind of a maximum fear who has, they can go to the depression side and they can do some time suicide. There are so many kinds of the disease can be. Like a, another good example is here, a student. If a student has the less fear of exam or the more fear of exam, they can not pass the exam. They must need to control their fear themselves. Remote control, they have themselves because the, this fear comes from inside, not from the outside. Other parts, suppose like uh, there is one uh, uh, dog is uh, walking over in the street, the dog do nothing. The uh, dog is walking itself, but people have some kind of uh, assumption, some kind of beliefs that say that this dog can be bite. This is some kind of suspicious. Suspicious create this kind of fear. And I have just tried to develop these new words here some. I don't know if it can be acceptable or not, but my forecast is that it can be acceptable in coming days. Like a fear disease is nobody said in the medical science the fear disease. But the fear patient is taken into different places like a depression. I also used to say the anxiety, mental stress, and sometimes they go to the another maybe. But depends on the degree of the fear and the uses of the fear. And I used to say that I just uh, like propose this one to the medical science, maybe somebody, you are here. Pyrology, we need to know. The Pyrology is already uh, one book is coming from the Nigeria. One small boy is already written. This is the new book. Pyrology is looking the science of fear only or study of fear. We need now fear, fear atrix, fear patient. That is fear patient. We have to diagnose this. And we have to treat in the, uh, as a fear patient. Those fear patients must be treated by not the other doctors. Only can treat by the fear doctors. I said fear at risk. 200 or 300 years before in the Europe, there was no psychology was developed. When psychology was not developed in the Europe, the psychological or mental patient was taken to the some kind of rooms, dark rooms, tightened up, or sometimes they are beaten because they think that this is the course of some other, the, uh, the body is carrying some kind of uh, bad things, like a uh, shaitans or like a, uh, what we call bees, like that. They have been taken and they have been beaten and they can be, they have been punish, punished many times. Even India, Nepal, and the South Asian countries, I see in the newspaper, this kind of happening in the, in mostly, in the village and the city also. City also, people is, when they have some kind of the uh, mental problem, they are just taken into some room and just feeding them and not caring properly. Exactly, they are the psychological patients. My propose here is that pure patients are taken in the, like a depression, suppose. I asked the, some of the depression patients, they said me, doctor used to give us a sleeping tablet. Only to just relieve their mind and not to just like a, uh, make more stress and fear or some kinds of thinking. And they just want to make a less only their thinking or that, that problem. Exactly, they are the fear patients. They must need to treat in the fear patient way. If we are trying to do, then so many patients like a mental or a depression or suicide case also can be reduced. Like a number of the students, number of cases of the suicide in India, also increasing every year. I'm watching it from quite a long time. When the result coming, examination result coming, and if they fail the exam and they suicide. Only we know that suicide is only we know. The what is the reason behind the suicide? 
suicide reason behind is I could not claim the whole the suicide is because of fear. But around 60% case is because of fear. When they look the dark future and the prestige and some friends together who already passed exam, this kind of thinking led them to suicide. And we have to just take them to the another side and we have to just make some kind of a relief in thinking. Because some of the countries, they not give emphasis to only the pass the exam. They give the, the way, they show the another kind of way to the, that students, they are not suicide. And suicide case is particularly developed area, developed city is more rather than the village area. In my research, result, because of why it happened, Okay, I want to stop here and uh, I want to just a little bit here. This is a follow of uh, possible events. And this is a pure uh, of pyramids. There is a pyramid, means uh, like a civilized people has one kind of fear, powerful people has one kind of fear of the pyramid, and some kind of celebrity has one kind of fear pyramids. And I just mentioned here a pyramid of fear. And there are so many organizations in the world, in the, even in the India, you said, like a peace and security. When security coming, this is because of fear, to stop our fear, to make a less fear. Preservation also coming, preservation of the forest, preservation of some kind of the animals, means we are fear because these kinds of animals are going to be extinct. Health coming, and implementation, rule and regulation, government, all of these institutions are indirectly further minimize or manage our fear. And I'm just coming to the end now. Deep philosophy is my next chapter. I want to just only two minutes I explain because some of the uh, students' girls are uh, uh, waiting, um, I think, uh, to know about this one. Deep philosophy world is starting now. Means all the philosophy can be developed deep philosophy with the help of the fear, because all the philosophy, there is some part of the fear is existing there. In the world, there is some kind of the discourse, particularly in the post-modernism time, and subaltern in the, in the India is also, there is a caste system, before also coming the caste system. I just want to raise one point in the caste system. There are two kinds of logic in the world. One is led by Michel Foucault, and another is led by Gayatri Chakravarti Ishwivahak. They said in their explanations, subaltern or the marginal people or the whatever we said, either they have to speak themselves or they have to be represented by somebody. This is the logic in the world. I am saying in the middle way, I am not agree with both of them. Because some of the people is dominated from the 5,000 years. And they don't want to speak themselves anything about their problem. Then how can they represent by the other people? Or they cannot represent themselves too. Both sides. It is in the world discourse running in the postmodernism time. I said, and give the example, small one. Suppose we have a baby, suppose 10 years baby. 10 years baby coming to home and some kind of the uh, sweetings, some kind of rags, his clothes, and standing in front of parents. He's saying nothing, just standing. It depends on the parents. If parents can tolerate, if parents are open-minded, that child can say slowly. Because parent is going to do nothing, even they are just killing somebody. Oh, you kill the boy, they just take an easy. If parent is, is like that, teacher is like that, a student comes and say the problem, I could not do this my mathematics. But if teacher is very strict, always scold, even always try to punish the students, then that student never say anything. Okay, but my point of view is to make the speak out any people, like, uh, women's, 
subalterns, marginals, or third genders, fourth genders, or anyone. First treatment we must need to do, like a child. We say it in the Hindi or the English. Please, boy, say something. What happened to you? I don't do anything to you. I don't say any, I don't punish to you. When that boy slowly cool down and start to slowly speak. In our South Asian country, what the problem we have, the racial or subaltern, first we need to take out their fear slowly. Because I, in my experience, suppose somebody study in the United States, state in United States, he is a lecturer or professor, but he is from the low caste. In our area, in our village, he come, but he cannot show that I am professor because he is not allowed to touch you know, the water. Still, that kind of fear he has, even he is high, already highly educated because it is, came from the 5,000 years, 5,000 years, showing, dominating them, showing the fear. It is in the postmodernism, modernism, and the dark age in the West, all of this. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Limbu, for giving such a nice explanations about fear. I too have the fear of time, and that is why, because we have to gather at 6.30 and we have to go a little bit faster, but it was a real, a good philosophical explanation. Man is driven by different instincts, like wonder, doubt, fear, and based on it, many sciences have developed. The reasoning also have followed this kind of instincts and from that perspective, this paper has a holistic as aspect of the fear. Thank you very much.